Hi everyone. We mentioned a few days ago that we're concerned about uh, some more storm systems as we head into the new year. Now this looks like the case. Um, and we'll show you why. What we've got is this low pressure out here in the Atlantic and uh, there's going to be other little low pressures going around the uh, southern edge of this and that's that's what's going to be causing the problems. Uh, this is midnight, 3am, 6am, 9am and midday tomorrow. And as we head through you can see that the winds start to increase. This is by 9pm tomorrow evening. Uh, as we zoom in a little bit here you can see the winds are very strong and coming in from the southwest. And as we go through the night tomorrow night the winds stay very strong and switch around into the uh, west-northwest for, for a time. So it'll get a little bit colder, but um, the winds stay very, very strong. And we're expecting a uh, potential of a little bit of a storm surge through the uh, in the west, south, and even in the east here. Um, we may even see a little bit of a, a storm surge effect uh, towards Cowes and Yarmouth. So we may see a little bit of flooding, um, mostly due to the very large tides. Um, but that combined with the storm surge, you know that we could see a few issues, but we will let you know a little bit more about that tomorrow um, and we should have more details on that then as well. So tonight, not too bad night. It's uh, mostly clear at the moment. It's a bit of patchy cloud and the winds are uh, from the west northwest and they're fresh to strong. In fact, they've been very strong for, for the last few hours and very strong gusts um, up to around 45, 50 mile an hour for a time. Uh, the second half of the night, still pretty clear at first but some high thin clouds spreading in from the west. Uh, the winds will be backing around to the uh, west southwest and dropping down a little bit so 15, 20, 25 miles per hour possibly. Um, lighter inland of course, uh, stronger on the coast and the temperatures 6 to 7 degrees in the western areas here, 5, well, 4, 5, 6 in more central areas uh, as possibly as low as 2 or 3 degrees in a couple of eastern spots here. Um, this is generally uh, around the sort of flood plains area and you know low-lying uh, valleys so braiding ashy numwell you know all, all the classic places that are very flat and very low down uh, so we could see a few pockets of frost here uh, on the on the grass and on the cars um, we're not expecting any ice so we shouldn't see any problems tomorrow morning is going to be well, it's going to be the odd bright spell at first, but it's going to be pretty cloudy generally. A little bit of light rain and drizzle, and some pretty strong winds coming in from the southwest. As we head through into the uh, afternoon, still a lot of cloud with us. Um, the temperatures, though, very mild, so we're looking 10, 11, maybe 12 degrees Celsius in a few spots here. The winds will still be from the southwest, and they'll be dropping off for a couple of hours, but then they'll be picking up again uh, later on in the afternoon and into the evening, and that's why we've got a weather warning out. And this is for uh, tomorrow night and also on, on Wednesday. Uh, we're going to see some very strong winds, a bit of a storm surge, quite a bit of rain, but rain isn't really our concern at the moment. Uh, we've also got a few photos at the end of this video, um, or should I say at the uh, bottom of this page, of um, what Zoe Cox sent us of the uh, flooding down in Alveston over the last couple of days. So um, yeah, check that out. So anyway, that's all for now. Goodbye.